Okay, now we are getting to a different type of fillet. I'm just going to pull up the uh, good old block. Yeah, it's, it's good for working on things. But we're going to work on the variable size fillet. Now we're finally getting to the secondary function here. Variable size. Now what does that mean? Um, I am to fill it. Let's say if you select a edge, the variable radius, you can set different radius or radii values at different node locations. I call these the nodes. Um, you got your main var uh, radius or V1, V2. You can set each of these. This, this is the selection box where you can set the different values, but there's mo like I said, there's multiple ways. Right down here, um, we're all around symmetric circular profile. I'm just going to show this. You can add more nodes. You can take away nodes. Um, technically, whatever number you put down here, you're going to add two more to that because these will be the nodes in between your end nodes. You know, uh, V1, V2. Now, how do you, uh, how do you populate uh, this? You know, start clicking on your nodes, um, and that populates those uh, nodes. So now. Um, Let's let's uh, assign variables. Nothing's uh, uh, assigned yet. So let's go down. I can select this way by selecting here, or I can go straight up here and just select in one of these. Um, very rich. You can assign it. I say I want to assign this uh, ten. There's one way. That's how it starts. The whole thing's a ten. But now, hey, I want this side to be you know five. And notice how it starts morphing. And then you can uh, either go here. I can say, let's say it's P1 right here. I can add the variables in here and it changes it. Or I always go visually. I like to see exactly where it's at. So then I can do this as, uh, let's see, 12. Let's just go crazy shape. Yeah, you can change these to whatever variable you need. Uh, six. See, yeah, now it looks more like a uh, the corner of a vase. Uh, but this is how you can change uh, the various races. You can change the positions. Uh, one, um, you just change the percentage. This is basically percentage. Uh, this is 25%, halfway in between, three quarter. You can uh, change it by percentage. Let's say I wanted to move it a little bit farther uh, towards the center. You have this more uh, elongated. Let's say like uh, 35%. It'll move that for you. Another thing you can do is just uh, grab the nodes. And then you can see it live, how it actually changes. So you can play with the shapes a little bit. You can change the values. Um, this works for uh, symmetric and asymmetric. Uh, and pretty much all the profiles. And Connor Crow. Just gets more complicated uh, depending on you know, how many different variables you want to put into it. So um, the other thing is uh, when you're done getting all your variable radi radii in, you can se select a smooth transition or a straight straight transition. Smooth transition tries to make the best um, smoothest curve for between each of your different variables, whereas straight kind of goes from one to the next, to the next, um, it's not as smooth. Let me see, is it more prevalent? Oh, if I already go like this, it's kind of hard to, you know, there's a slight difference you can tell. See, between smooth, tries to curve it smoother, whereas straight just goes from one radius value to the next. Still, it still looks smooth because everything's pretty much tangent, um, but, smooth works a little bit better so that is your variable size fillet